Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a woman who chooses a puppet over her fiancé. I don't know how this video is going to go, so let's hop into it. April spends 80 hours a week working with her puppets. That's more than 4,000 hours a year. Okay, so basically this woman is literally obsessed with a puppet and takes it everywhere with her. I swear I've seen Daz Black react to this video, so I decided to react to it myself. I haven't watched his full video. But from like the first minute of his video, I can tell that this woman is crazy. She always has the doll with her. It's just ridiculous. It would be nice to spend time with just April and have her leave the doll at home. Okay, so that is April and her sister. April's the one with like the suitcase and basically she's got the freaky doll in there. We're about to see it and get ready. It's scary. Which of your baby is in the suitcase now? As a matter of fact, me. She's uh, wanted to say hi. Like, hello, how have you been? Oh god, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. You guys, it's literally half eight in the morning. I haven't slept. What is going on here? This is just craziness. Basically, this doll is like this weird woman's basic child. She treats it as if it's like her sister or her child. Like, she's literally obsessed with it. This type of behavior is crazy. And if you ever see your friends acting like this, please tell them to get a therapist. May thinks that my sister is intimidated by her looks. I just think she feels she's being replaced and that's really hard for her. I don't think your sister is intimidated. I'd say she's more scared. If somebody walked up to me with a puppet that looked like that and started speaking to me, I'd be terrified. The puppet looks like Miss Piggy if she went through like a face transplant or like transitioned into like a different woman. It's weird. Like I don't like puppets. Some are cool and some are just like creepy. And that doll right there is the creepy one. Put your hand in my mouth. Come on. Oh. She literally just said she doesn't want to put her hand in your mouth and you're forcing her to. I'm sorry, look at this. This is crazy. What is going on here? Like, what is literally going on? This is so terrifying because there's so many people like this out in the world. And if I didn't do YouTube, I'd be doing this. Do you want to do something, you guys? I'm going to buy a puppet and start acting like her. <laughs> Because you have your puppets with you all the time. Like, if you take them on your first date. Do you really think she's going to be going on dates? I'm sorry, somebody who walks around with a puppet like that in a certain case is not going to be going on dates. A man wouldn't go near her. Actually, do you want to know something? They probably would because men are into crazy women. I don't understand why people want crazy people and, like, mad people and just, like, aggressive people to date. It's probably to get their adrenaline levels up. I could never do it. If I was straight and I seen a woman like that, I'd run in the opposite direction. She's the type of woman to try to drag somebody into a van. You're not Gargoyle Walter, so just like shut it. Like, do you, May? You can't talk like that to my sister. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Wait, is she using the puppet as a way to be rude to her? Do you want to know something? I need a puppet. I need to be able to do that. That's kind of scary, isn't it? She's literally treating the puppet as if it's a person. I don't know how to feel about this. I just see mental illness and I know I hate like diagnosing people with stuff. But this type of behavior isn't normal. It's crazy. From now on, whenever I react to these videos, I'm going to start to label people crazy. Nothing to do with them. I'm just going to say they're crazy. Can I talk to you, not the puppet? I'm sorry, she's just having a day. She's having a day? I think you're having a day, sweetheart. You look like you haven't slept in a month. I feel bad for her. I can tell that she's really going through it. She looks like she is. I mean, anyone who's interacting with a puppet like that is obviously going through a lot. I worry about April in relationships because to, you know, whip out a puppet and it seems like a moderately awkward dynamic. Okay, you guys, I just seen a horse and a car in the background, so this is definitely American. Only this would happen in America. I feel like I come across like I hate Americans in my videos. I really don't. I love you guys. Whenever I say I hate Americans, it's a joke. It's meant to satire. Like, I don't actually mean it. I'm fine with you guys. But it's Americans like that, the one with the puppet. It's freaky. You know, didn't have to always carry around like a heavy puppet. You know, if like, no, 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 no. Like, Seriously. Bye. Is she just gonna storm off like that? She was only asking you to put the pearly puppet away. I think Dad said this in his video, but I'm gonna like say it again. This is fake. I hope it is. I mean, it's TLC. TLC is the learning channel. What we learned from this video that these people are crazy. I'm just trying to be a good sister. Like, I want no, to like no, no, apologize to me. I'm sorry, May. Why would she apologize to May? She's done nothing wrong. May isn't real. May doesn't have a brain. May doesn't have a ear. She can't hear things. This is just craziness. Like, this is legit craziness. I'm sorry, but that actually would be me. Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna have a breaking point soon. Like, I'm literally gonna hit my breaking point and I'm gonna turn crazy and turn into her. I, I know that in order to stay close to her, I, I can't tell her 
me or the puppets. Could you not like kidnap the puppet? What's she gonna do if the puppet goes missing? She's gonna buy another one. I bet you if you walk into her apartment, she's got lots of puppets everywhere. It's like something you'd see in like a horror movie. You know, whenever they walk into a museum and like everything like starts moving because it's like nighttime and they like try to kill them. That is what the puppet's gonna do. The puppet's gonna kill somebody. You know, I worry as a mom. I worry about her not having health insurance and I worry about her having enough money and not taking care of herself. Wait, so you want her to have health insurance and you're nervous she won't take care of herself? I'm sorry, but you're worrying about the wrong thing, sweetheart. You should be more worried as to why your 30-year-old daughter is obsessed with a puppet. It's good that she actually does care about health care because your daughter is crazy and she's gonna need it. I worry like 24 hours a day. I'm gonna take my mom to a theater where she's gonna see me rehearse. May, I'm so glad that you're standing next to me. Doesn't I look skinnier already? Yet again, just craziness. I'm sorry, this is the face of somebody crazy. This is the face of somebody who's about to snap. This woman is literally about to snap and like do something bad to end up in the news. I'm sorry, but if you ever see somebody who's got her eyes where it's just like eyes and deadness behind it, she's got no soul. The soul's been sucked out of her. The ugly little puppet's probably taken her soul. Well, May, you can go to hell. Sorry, I'm gonna sit in your audience. Oh. You like the flow of those, Mom? Pretty good, pretty good. The mum is literally me. Like, the mum is absolutely terrified. The mum knows that if she doesn't laugh or crack a smile, she's getting stabbed. If she doesn't do that, the puppet's gonna get launched at her. I want for my daughter what every mother wants. I want her to have 2.5 kids and a good husband. 2.5 kids? Does that mean two and a half kids? Oh, I'm assuming that maybe the puppet counts as a kid. The puppet doesn't count as a kid. You need to get the puppet and burn it. You know in America how you guys like throw out your trash and like put it into trash bags? Put the puppet in the trash. You know, I want her to have that full life. Have you thought about spending less time with the puppet? What's Mom, her? I thought we discussed this. You weren't going to ambush me on this visit. Oh, so they've obviously had a discussion about the puppet business before. Well, at least the mum's trying to help her. I think it's just a bit too late. Do you want to do something? This easily could have been avoided early on if people recognised that it wasn't normal. If I ever seen any of my friends acting like this, you just know that I'd hop in their case and I'd be like, stop the behaviour now. Oh my god, you guys, I can't speak. I feel like the puppet's going to possess me. At some point in time, I'm thinking you might be tired of this. I'm never going to get tired of my puppets, Mom. Ever. That's not good. She really does need to get like a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a pet. I don't think kids are the right thing for her. I just couldn't see her taking care of kids. Get her a pet like a hamster. I'm sure she'd love that. When mom brings up spending less time with the puppets, I feel like it's her way of saying, you're not the daughter I wanted. No, that's not true. She just wants you to be safe and happy. You should be so happy that your mum is sat there and wanting to take care of you. There's so many people out there whose parents didn't love them and didn't take care of them and they ended up like depressed and lonely. You've got a mum who wants to support you and is behind you. I have... Please mom, stop crying. It's gonna mess up your eye makeup and it's gonna mess up mine too. <laughs> I keep saying, where is plan B? And she says, there is no plan B, mom. I mean, at least she's crying, so she does feel emotions. She's not as emotionless as what I thought she was. She does actually have a soul behind them eyes, even though it doesn't look like it. It's a little upsetting. People have been saying that I'm spending too much time with the puppets. I'm walking through the park. I think it would be a kind of a good idea to have someone look at all of you and make some recommendations. That's good. She does need a psychological test. I feel like I shouldn't be laughing at this, but I am laughing at it, so I apologize. This is just like somebody who's obviously struggling and does need help. Maybe I'll see, you know, a therapist. And if I am becoming like that creepy ventriloquist woman, I don't want that either. <laughs> Wait a minute, she's got more than one doll. I knew she had lots of puppets, like she is the puppet lady. Forget the puppet master, she's the puppet master. She had like a clown puppet or like an Annabelle puppet. And look at this freeze frame right here, this is just creepy. Something about this woman's off and I can't put my finger on it. April's going to see a therapist today and I'm kind of curious to see what they have to say seeing that April takes me everywhere she goes. I mean, granted, April is a little crazy. I know that because I live with her. Oh, sweetie, April is not a little crazy. She is a lot crazy. I really do hope that this woman gets help because it's quite evident that she needs it. So how much time would you say you spent with them? Spend a lot of time with them. I take them out in public with me. We sit in Times Square. People take photos with us. I'm bringing these guys to 
places to perform. So she's got multiple puppets that she takes everywhere with her and she interacts with humans. I'm telling you right now, if I had a child, I would not let her near her. She'd distract you for one minute and then grab you next. I actually make my living singing telegrams, uh -huh. but they might get fired if I bring them to this job. So you seem very attached to them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she is attached to them because apparently that's how she makes her living. How does she make money off them? Does she do, like, shoes? Also, guys, if it looks like I'm squinting in this video, it's so early and I haven't slept. Like, I'm wrecked. And this is starting to rot my brain. This is Mae Wilson. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm here today because this a girl is crazy. I love how the therapist is sat there nodding her head. She's like, yeah, I can tell. I actually want to know how she taught herself to like speak with her mouth closed. I always find it so interesting whenever people can do that. It's a real talent and I can't do it. I'm with her because I feel bad for her. So she may look a lot like you, I notice. Yeah, uh, she's sort of the bad girl of the group. Mm -hmm. Maybe she made a doll of herself, so it means that doll can express itself the way she wanted to express herself. In all of these videos, there's always a really sad and deep meaning as to why these people act like this, and I feel like we're about to find it out. Can we put May away and just talk between the two of us? Okay, bye May. Nice bye. to meet you, May. So you are here because you want to possibly explore why you have this behavior. Oh my god, stop smiling like that. I'm sorry, it's stressing me out. It's really freaking me out. Whenever somebody smiles like that, it's just so scary. It's like a serial killer smile. It's literally like the Chucky Pennywise smile. I hate it. Yeah, I just, you know, because I don't think I'm divorced from reality, but I just want to make sure that's not the case. And do you find this to be a problem in your life? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it's a problem, but people think, you know, I spend too much time with them. I'm not dating enough. I'm not going out enough. And my mom says to me the other day, like, I want you to spend less time with the puppets, and I want you to find a husband, and, you know, maybe, you know, shovel snow and rake leaves. And Yeah, so basically, people around her want her to actually have a life. It's actually quite bad that she doesn't realize that it's not normal for her to spend this much time with puppets. Like, she thinks it's fine. She thinks she's, like, living her life. Sweet heart you're not you need to get rid of the puppets i guess i'm fine with her having them it's just like i feel for her like i'm kind of concerned and so it doesn't get in the way of possibly dating or friendships or work well sometimes it does get in the way of dating but i have to ask myself do i honestly want to be with those guys if they don't like something about well, I mean, I guess guys can like you. They just don't like what you do. I mean, that is a fair point. If they don't support you, don't get with them. But then in her case, I guess she's basically crazy. So they don't really have a choice, do they? Hello, Mr. Q. I'm talking to you. I party all the time. I don't sleep. <laughs> And April, he's single. Oh, so she like flirts with men in the street with the doll. I couldn't imagine that. Imagine walking past her and she starts speaking to you for a doll. I'm telling you right now, I get a lighter and light the thing on fire. I was engaged to a guy who it was either him or the puppets. I am so glad. I gave him up instead because he wanted me to change who I was. Okay, so she was literally engaged about to get married and she gave up a future with a man for puppets. If the man was trying to get her to change stuff about herself, like her weight, the way she looked, then I would be like, do you want to know something, sis? Leave him, he's not good for you. But I've got a feeling he genuinely did care for her and wanted her to change for the better and she just threw it away. Which is quite dangerous. She literally threw a fiance away for these puppets. So she's going to do whatever she can to keep them. So when you're out in public are there any negative reactions towards me one time i was doing a trade show performance and a guy tried to have me arrested okay is there a reason why he got you arrested i mean the majority of the time if somebody wants you arrested there's a good reason for it i bet you should chase him like she probably got the puppet to like harass him and i actually really got into it with him sometimes it's like i always just want to tell them how I really think and feel about them. Mm -hmm. But I know that it's not always the most kind approach. Do you wanna know sometimes in life you have to be mean? I support people being kind and nice to each other all the time. But if you need to tell somebody something for them to like get their head straight, you need to say it. Sometimes you can't sugarcoat it, you gotta say it just the way it is. But when May says it though, it's like, it's just like, you know, it's like, it's okay for her to be mean. Um, hello, she literally just punched her sister. So basically her way of getting her emotions across is through May. I kind of thought that I was thinking that May's like how she sees herself or like another version of herself. She's like the naughty version where she can say whatever she wants and she'll get away with it because she's a puppet. But did you see the way she battered her sister? That was terrifying. She can be as bad as she wants to be and that's sort of cool. Right, okay, because there's no 
There's no repercussion. There's no, yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, I do feel bad for her. I really do hope that she gets help. I'm sorry, but whenever you look at her, she just looks so sad, just like lonely and depressed. I don't know when this was filmed. It looked like it was filmed quite a while ago, so I hope she's doing well. These different puppets and these different personalities contain her emotion and they possibly are containing her anger, um, sadness. So I'm just a bit concerned that maybe you lean on them a little bit too much. Exactly, like if she leans on them too much, she's not gonna be able to control herself. This happens all the time with normal people, criminals, just anything. If you put too much stress on yourself, one day you will snap and go crazy and just do something bad. Maybe we can look at and explore other ways to express yourself. Yoga, music, you know, something like that. I love to run. Do you wanna know something? Going for a run or a walk is the best thing ever. If my sleeping schedule is going the way I want it to, I will literally wake up at 5 a.m and go for a walk for about an hour and 10 minutes. It literally clears my head and gets me started for the morning and then it just gets me shower and I'm ready. It calms me down, it clears my head. So my recommendation would be to explore, you know, these issues with anger or the tolerance. So you don't always have to express yourself through the puppets. Well, that's good. The therapist is actually helping her. The thing is, is she gonna take the help? I mean, I hope she does. Here's an update. April still spends most of her days with her puppets. She did leave them at home for a recent family gathering. Okay, so at least she's left them home once, which I guess is good, but apparently she's still staying with them. Anyways, guys, that was a woman who chooses her puppets over her fiance. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button, and yes, I'll see you all in my next video.